What's up, my dudes? Let's talk about space in No Man's Sky. Probably the most, you know, unused, not even fully potentialized element to the whole game. Couldn't think of the word I was trying to think of, but uh, you get what I'm saying, though. Like, space is probably the... For for how cool it could have been in the game, it's probably the most lackluster thing in this entire game. Literally, all there is in space are these asteroids, okay? You're shooting. You're kind of getting resources out of them. You're just blasting through them. You can't land on an asteroid like what was said to us at the beginning was probably going to be possible. Um, and other than that, that's about it. You're flying from planet to planet, and then you have a space station out in each one of the solar systems, right? So, other than that, yeah, now you do have the freighters and, you know, stuff like that. And yes, there are the anomalies and things of that sort. But you, you just got to keep it real, guys. I mean, Hello Games is nowhere near where they could be as far as the space content in this game. It ain't even close to where it could be or should be or we all thought it was going to be. It just is nowhere close to that. And I, I think this is one of the probably the one of the most likely like next big updates we could get in this game is a, you know, sure enough, like, quote-unquote, space update for No Man's Sky. I definitely think that's a possibility, um, for sure, 100%. I think space update is possible. Um, and really just, like, being able to land on really big asteroids, almost like little mini planets, you know, that's kind of how they would be in the game, having, uh, like, bigger asteroids to land on, potentially space creatures, um... You know, there's a lot of different stuff, like being able to build a base in space. That would be really cool on a certain asteroid or just a kind of like a almost like a space station type style base you could build or something. You know, something like that would be really interesting. But in the current state of the game, it's really just you don't spend a whole lot of time in space. There's no point. It's just not really that interesting. There's just not a whole lot out there. There's not a whole lot of mystery. You know, this is what I go back to even when I just talk about the standard planets in the game. It's all about the what's on the other side of that hill. What's on in that other solar system? What's going to be on that planet I'm flying to? You know, that's that. That's what makes the game fun. That's what keeps it interesting. That's what keeps it keeps you wanting to play and keeps you wanting to go to new planets and new solar systems and discover new things. But when there's nothing really in space, it kind of kills that excitement to be in space and that, woo, feeling like you're really in this alien space world and this, you know, this like... Um, you know, universe in a video game, you kind of lose a little bit, a little bit of that in No Man's Sky when you realize how there's just basically nothing out in space at all. So I certainly think a fully dedicated space update would be prime for this game. I mean, it would it would be key for sure. Definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think they could add in a space update. But I think space creatures is a must. And I don't I'm not saying every solar system has to have space creatures. I'm just saying some of them I want to be able to be flying around in space and all of a sudden some megalodon sized flying alien dragon just comes and swallows my ship like out in space right i definitely think that would be really cool or like a certain flying creature that can go from space to planet back to space something cool like that or like um you know certain creatures that can just fly i mean you know wherever they want to fly to and i also also think they're missing out a little bit on like that whole black hole, random warping, wormhole style system to the game. I definitely think they could make that more interesting in space. Like, not the black holes in the game that are like, you know, you fly to the actual black hole solar system and it tells you right where it's at. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you're just flying around in a random solar system and all of a sudden you, you look off in the distance and you're seeing this weird warpy looking, you know, little area and all of a sudden if you fly close enough to it... You know, it just sucks you up to it, and then you don't know where you're going to go. You know, that that would be really cool. Like, it doesn't even tell you that it's there. It doesn't tell you what it is. I think um, Hello Games and No Man's Sky has kind of 
killed a lot of their potential, um, you know, a lot of their potential excitement and that mysteriousness of what we thought the game was going to have at the beginning because they tell us too much, right? It was supposed to have more of like a Minecraft crafting system where it doesn't tell you how to craft anything, doesn't tell you how to do anything. You just got to figure it out. But once we actually got into the game, I mean, you start to realize pretty quickly how it's just like it tells you where everything is, tells you where the black holes are, tells you where the, the warps are, tells you where um, the anomalies are, tells you where the um, the portals are. It shouldn't even tell you where the portals are unless it's like one of those kind of portals where you're actually trying to, um, you know, you can set your portal back to your base or whatever. Yeah, in that case, but that's what I'm saying. They need more of that random wormhole, warp hole, underwater cyclone warp hole you know they need more like cool i don't even know what this thing is that i'm walking up on holy crap what's happening all of a sudden i'm like warped off into maybe it's not even a planet maybe it like warps you off into another dimension and then you've got to like find your way back to this dimension that would be really cool like dimensional warp holes and stuff i think would be a really awesome addition to this game and have like super super alien areas in this, like, quote-unquote, dimensional world of the game, right? Have just super crazy crap that you you never see in this dimension of the game. That would be a cool way to do it. Sorry, guys, I know you can't hardly see anything. I've got some crazy friggin', um, crazy ice planet here. I have no idea where I'm really at. Let me try to get back to land so I can uh, fly back up into space. All right, here we go. Um, so yeah, and then it also goes into the other side of it, like, when you talk about a space update, I think everything that's already currently in space needs more variation, like, the space stations need a crap load more variables and procedural generation to them, and the, you know, the different races out in space, and the different ships out in space, they helped a little bit that with that, with the living ship update thing, but... You know, just the space stations and the anomalies and all that kind of stuff. Why can't we have like a really cool space ruin of some sort? That would be kind of cool. Um, it, but they're just definitely, compared to the on-planet exploration, the space exploration, there's just not a lot to it. It's really just like a passageway currently in the game. It's really just like a passageway to going to where you really want to go, which is planets or whatever, you know, another solar system. It's it's really just a, it's kind of just dead space in a sense. Um, so they, they could do a lot with this game to make the space aspect of it way more interesting than it currently is. That, and you guys know about all that different kind of stuff they could do. Uh, but space creatures would be a big one. Um, small or big space creatures, either one, you know, or both. Um just more landable asteroids, that's going to be really big, that's going to be really cool, and make those, like, really varied and random, don't make just every sort of random landable asteroid the same, you want to make some that are huge, some that are really small, some that have certain resources, some that have certain creatures on them, or a cool alien, you know, inside the asteroid creature explodes out of the asteroid and it tries to attack you or something cool, you know? also think it would be cool if you could just jump out of your ship in space and just boost around with your dude in space because that's something they're going to have to kind of think about if the if la asteroids are landable on i guess would they really have gravity i'm not really sure how they, they would do that exactly i don't really think they have gravity but um that'd be cool if you could be like sitting on an asteroid and it crash into a planet, <laughs> that would be so cool. Uh, but they definitely certainly do need to give you the ability to just jump out of your ship and be like floating around in space as your character and you can like boost around and boost back to your ship or walk around on top of the space station or, you know, they need to give you that freedom to be able to do that for sure in this game, 100%. They definitely need to add that in. Um, and just make it all feel a little more alive in space, you know? This game has a little bit of that issue where it doesn't feel like a living, breathing universe of tons of different alien species. Yeah, you see the passing ship here and there, but it just doesn't, I don't know, they're kind of missing that feeling like you're really in a, in a live galactic universe. You know, you kind of, 
definitely missing a little bit of that aspect. But yeah, you should be able to like fly into a space station like this, get out of your ship. Let me wait till I spin around, spin one real quick. Like you should be able to get out, get out of your ship, run all the way down there and just jump out into space. Why can't we do that? That's just kind of like a why not type situation, you know? Um, definitely need to be able to do that in the future. But then also, not only that, but just, just I think if they expand the solar systems a little more as far as like how they can be made, like solar systems with, um, I don't know, they could expand a lot on like different planet size and... Quite a few different things. Let me get this in third person here. If I can figure out how to do it. That's not how to do it. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> you can kind of feel like you're running through an abyss in first person on this area right here. But uh, yeah, just a few little things like that I think Hello Games could add that would really add to the variation of the space exploration. There really is no space exploration in this game. There just isn't. Like, I mean, there just isn't. And there's not really a whole lot of big, like, battles out in space. I think they could definitely expand upon that a little bit more than what it currently is. Um, but, yeah, just a few different, you know, or have, like, just little simple, like, have some random AI ship just sitting still out in space, and you can come, like, literally jump out of your ship and hop on the dude's ship and still his resources, 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 still his resources or something like, like you're hopping in the Millennium Falcon, right? You know, something cool like that. Or you could like help the dude, like give him some money to get his ship back working. Like he's, he's got it. His, his ships ran out of fuel out in space. You know, there, it's like all of those little random potential possibilities with the AI alien, um, you know, races and factions and things like that in the game that they're just not really seeming to be taking full potential of, it doesn't seem like to me. Um, so, you know, things like that, I think would definitely elevate it all. And, uh, yeah, we, we still can't really like go to a sun in the game. We can go to technically moons. We can't really go to a sun, which is really bizarre. Um, but there's all kinds of things. I mean, you know, yeah, there's black holes in the game, but like I say, they need more of that random. You don't really know what it is. It doesn't really tell you what it is. It's kind of full exploration. You're just figuring out what the heck that thing is out there in space that you see and you fly out to it and you're like, Whoa, I've never seen that kind of thing before. Yeah. It needs more of that kind of a vibe. I think this is where I can't, can't go past this point up here. Um, but yeah, you know, definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Yeah, it's just kind of a wall. Um, but yeah, I think that's just a few of the things I think they could add in a space update and, uh, really hope they do that eventually. So either way, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, dudes.